let's make sure this, uh, are you able to hear, are you able to hear me? Yeah. Yes. Um, this is my first <coughs> visit to Romania. I have had over my life many Romanian friends on the um, theme of uh, ex, 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 expatriates. Your country is famous for uh, philosophy and mathematics and lots of other things. And I want it to be famous for its economic growth. I want it to be a success story, as in many ways Poland is, or uh, Georgia, in your, in your own part of the world. And in other parts of the world, South Korea, or Singapore. Hong Kong now has Hong Kong, at the, uh, in, in, in the late 1940s, had an income per head the same as mainland China, as they call it. And now its income per head is higher than that of the United States. You can achieve that on this optimistic theme that um, John and Dan have, 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 uh, have introduced. If you can achieve 3% growth per capita per year, and after all, China, even with its slowdown, is growing well over 6% per year. India is growing at the same rate. If, if you, you can achieve 3% real growth per capita every year, in a cup in in a um, in a couple of short generations, you can increase income by a factor of four. Your income now is about um, fifty-two dollars a day per capita. In the United States, it's now a hundred and forty dollars a day per capita. But you can catch up. Hong Kong did. How did Hong Kong achieve that? How, to, how, does, how, how did Georgia grow? It's, it's still quite uh, poor, but it was even poorer once. By free enterprise, in a phrase. It didn't come as the Marxists express it. I was a I was once a Marxist when I was a child, like most of you, <laughs> most of you young people. I was a Marxist. And I thought that economic growth came from exploiting the working class, or alternatively, exploiting the third world. It's not very plausible. It's a little odd that you exploit part of the society, and then the whole society increases from the $3 a day in modern terms that the whole world earned in 1800, with minor exceptions of $6 a day in a place like Holland or Britain, $3 a day worldwide, to the present worldwide average of about $33 a day which is Brazil. That's an amazing change. And available to you, if you will, to, if you will arrange for it, is um, $140 a day, $200 a day. Take your pick. Nor is it caused by investment. Now, this sounds strange. It's an odd thing to say. You need capital. You need buildings and microphones that sometimes work. Um, uh, and, and you need books like mine. Books, you need, books, you need capital. And you need human capital, the sort that <coughs> many of you are now accumulating. But that it's necessary doesn't make it anything like sufficient. That it's that that you need air. I mean, we can hardly achieve three dollars a day if we didn't have any air to breathe. We would all die. 
So you could say, I have a theory of economic growth, it's the air theory. <laughs> air. Got to have that air. My claim about investment in capital is that it's derivative from opportunity. When there's opportunity created by ordinary uh, people becoming extraordinary and trying out new ideas, opening a hairdressing salon, inventing a new kind of motor, whatever, then the investment is rather easy to assemble. You think of uh, uh, capital is not a, a, a great concern. Foreign trade, which you'll be told often is the source of economic growth, is not the source of economic growth. It's desirable to have. Free trade is a, a very important um, um, stimulus to enterprise, ingenuity, uh, entrepreneurship, but it's not Foreign exports are not the same thing as income. Uh, so you can achieve it. Now, I come from Chicago. Chicago in the late 19th century was the fastest growing um, city in the world in a country whose income per head was growing very fast at that 3% per year that I talked about. Chicago in the late 19th century was fantastically corrupt. Uh, it was, shall I say, worse than Romania. It was, every judge was for sale. Every, every policeman was. So where does this ingenuity come from? Where does, where does widespread <coughs> enterprise new locations for businesses, new apartment buildings, an idea for locating a new apartment building, an idea for a new machine or a new app, as, as Dan said. It comes from equality. But it's not equality that, um, that Piketty talks about. It's not equality of income. It's Equality of rights to the rule of law, the right to make contract. Equality before the law, as we say. That's the English expression on the one hand. But unlike my colleagues here, I would say that, that equality before the law is not, is not quite enough. There also needs to be dignity for ordinary people. There needs to be honor to entrepreneurs, honor to ordinary workers. People need to be treated well. Um, uh, uh, women need to be freed. The Roma need to be freed. We need to treat each other as honorable in our enterprise. Now, one final thought. The floor, as John expressed it, is ethics, <coughs> is ideology. The decline of hierarchy, the decline of the idea that we're not equal men are superior to women, the lords are superior to peasants per, per capital. It, 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 it's, 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 it's ethical, political, I would say rhetorical. A change in how you, how you talk about each other is fundamental to really fast economic growth. Now you can grow at 1% per year. But alas, in real terms, but alas, then it'll take 140 years for income to increase by a factor of four. 
it'll take about 70 or 72 years for it to merely increase by a factor of two. I think Romania can do much better than that. Thank you. Again, if there are any brief pointed questions or comments. I have two. Very yes. short. Yeah. Very short. Yes. Uh, first, comment. first one. One comment, one question. The first comment is the following. Unfortunately, we have less Marxist, Marxists that became liberals or libertarians than liberals that became Marxists. So it's it's good to see a, pe a, a person that change the, the, the size. There are lots of us. I think not. Worldwide. You are the first person that, that I'm meeting in last year. So. But I, I saw a lot of opposite persons. Really? Yeah. Shock. Yeah. Uh, because Marxism is well published, it's well paid, it's, yeah, yeah. it's well uh, priced by novels and yeah, yeah. Nobel Prizes and so on. So you have a lot of advantages to be a Marxist <laughs> less than to be a liberal. Yeah. Okay, so well, this was can, the comment. Can, can, can I simply comment on that? That's only true in academic life. Yeah. It's not true in the world. In academic life, it's very true. In academic life, it's very true. I'm a professor of English. All my friends are in, in English are at least Marx selected. Yeah. <laughs> well published, well ranked, yeah. and so on. Yeah. Yeah. But but there was a there was a cartoon cover of our magazine, The National Review, last August. It's truly brilliant. It showed that classic face portrait of Karl Marx with his beard and everything. But he was a cool guy. He had a, a little hat. He had a Starbucks coffee in his hand. An MP3 player in his, uh, in his uh, ear. And he was so cool. And it's, uh, he had a shirt on that said, still wrong. <laughs> yeah. 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 And the, the question, uh, it's, uh, it's the following. We discussed about 3% real growth rate per capita that is necessary for catching up and so on. I want to say that this economic growth is very complicated to be uh, defined, to be measured. And uh, uh, how do you see an economic growth rate that is including also an increasing the level of debt for a country, for instance. Okay, I'm increasing the public debt, that is the debt of, any, of no one's in fact. It is included in that growth rate. We can achieve 3%, but with a lot of debt accumulated, such as China accumulated also, <coughs> Japan, Germany, and so on. So uh, a real economic growth should be well defined. <coughs> Well, I, I've spent my life thinking about economic growth, and so, so have you, I take it. And um, I, 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 there, people say there are doubts about measuring national income or this, that, and the other. But I think you'll agree that in gross terms, the United States and Hong Kong are much better off than Romania. But unfortunately, they don't speak Romanian, so they don't know the public Romanian debt. poetry. Yeah, the public debt of both countries that you mentioned there, per capita, it's higher than the public debt per capita yeah, for but Romania. The, the, the public debt is, is not, you know, I, I, if, we, if we can do in Romania what we're suggesting, what the, what the liberals are suggesting, we're going to have smaller government. It's grotesque a government has grown in the last century in most countries. We don't need 40% of consumption to go through the government. Mm -hmm. And if we don't have 40% going through the government, we're not going to have big government debt. So and, and in any case, don't worry. Believe me, I promise you. Government debt is not an, an immense problem. Mm -hmm. uh, but what is a problem is regulation, crony capitalism, failure of the rule of law, um, and indignity, although this isn't really proven in 
for me, but in but but contempt for entrepreneurs. Okay. Back to the Q and A. 